Uh, this is this exercise is solving uh, quadratic equations so we're going to start from question three um, this is also the first one actually we go through the general solution if i remind you quickly over here so 10 so if you do have to draw uh, a tie a, a 10 graph it looks like this right. so if you have y equals to uh, 10 x just say you know you have the period um, of pi All right this is one period and from pi over 2 to negative pi over 2 this is one period and because it's periodical so hence you have this curve repeating itself many times okay so if you do want to find a general solution for example you might have y equals to half something I give you one solution over here and you have multiple solutions if you add simply another period right so hence um, if we say okay uh, if this solution is alpha we say x is really equals to uh, n pi which is you can add uh, any period right and plus and the alpha which is one principal value so this one is called principal value okay and where n is an integer okay based on that we can solve this so we have three theta equals two so um what angle actually give you um 10 equals to zero it's over here right so the angle is going to be equal to zero Okay, before you rush to solve what theta is going to be, you can see it, theta equals 0. But we're going to actually add this in. So it's pi in, right? So 3 theta equals to pi in plus 0. So which means on the top of this principal value, you can add or minus any period. It will give you exactly the same solution. Okay, now you can solve this. And so you tidy up. 3 theta equals to pi in and then theta equals to pi n over 3 where n is an integer okay now second one that we learn is actually cosine so if you um, think about cosine wave look like this so this is only one period the one period is really 2 pi for y equals to cosine x right let me change a different color okay so if you continue, we understand it's repeating itself um, in periodical. So if you have, say, okay, I want to have mm, y equals to half, and what's this mm, x going to be? And then you can see the solution is appear many times, even within one period. So there is one thing that we conclude is, you can see a solution is on either side on either side of this right the first one is zero so it's on either side of zero and next one is on either side of two pi right you can see your next one is going to be on either side of four pi right so hence we can um, draw a conclusion x if you say this one is alpha right so one principal solution so x as general solution should be equals to two pi n so which means the period is two pi and but you plus a minus so which means you go above that you go um, behind it all right so plus minus and that principal value where n is gonna be integer okay that's basically the general solution when you solve a cosine uh, equation so hence let's come over here so theta over 2 that's equals 2 you can see over here when the whole function equals 0 it give you pi over 2 now you can see this is whole period is 2 pi and half of that is going to be pi and half of that is going to be pi over 2. So before you rush to solve what theta is, we're going to use this general solution over here. So hence, pi over 2 should be equals to 2 pi n and plus and minus pi over 2. Okay, now you can solve this. Theta should be equals to 4 pi n, which is multiply 2 to both sides. And plus or minus pi where n is integer all right this is a z right z but it's written in this form so that you can see it's quite different 
that's represent integer as a German by the way um, okay next one is slightly more complicated and but um, let's think about this so we should have a sine wave over here okay now since it's periodical and we'll just draw more over here now if we have um, the equation to solve we say y equals to half now you can see you also have multiple solutions within one period which is 2 pi over here but the solution is not in this on it's not on either side of 0 or 2 pi as cosine is um, it's rather actually for 0 you add this principal value over there and then for next one pi uh, you minus that okay you minus that alpha uh, which is principal value so hence the solution is and if we have y equals to sine x the x should be equals to where alpha is principal value uh, should be equals to pi n plus negative 1 to the power of n alpha what does it mean is when n is equal to 0 which is precisely 0 degree and then negative 1 to the power of 0 will give you 1 so you plus the alpha when n is equals to 1 that become pi right pi n pi times 1 and then negative 1 to the power of 1 and you minus that alpha which means when the number is really uh, an even number right next one is 4 pi you add that alpha principal value right you add that value when n is an odd number you minus that so this is pi is really 1 pi over here is really 3 pi this odd number so hence if you want a solution you minus that alpha which is principal value okay so where n is uh, an integer so hence let's solve this sine squared something equals zero and then sine whatever this angle is going to be equal zero so hence we understand 11 theta is going to be equals to the whole thing equals zero and the angle must be equal zero as well now we're going to use this general solution uh, before you solve what uh, theta is so 11 theta equals to pi n and plus negative 1 to the power of n and 0 where the principal value over here equals 0 right so because of time 0 that's all gone so hence 11 theta equals to pi n and the theta equals to pi n over 11 where n is an integer thank you